What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. We're on the ice, finally. And I'm so excited to be on the ice. I know I've been saying that for like the past two months now, but I'm finally on the ice. I came up here with my man Kyle Woo! from Wisconsin Fisherman. So if you guys want to check him out, I'll leave his link down below. But we're up in the North Woods and uh, it was quite the drive here. They got like six inches of snow last night. I drove up and uh, yeah, the roads aren't plowed here in the North Woods to say the least. So <laughs> we're gonna be doing some inland trout fishing today. I've never targeted inland trout personally through the ice or actually open water either. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So we got the live scope, Kyle's live scope right there. We got that heater, which works great. The old G. OG. And this heater, uh, it don't work very well. And that's yours, not mine. No, this is mine, brand new. I just bought it. And yes, this is not a sponsored product. I just bought that heater. And it doesn't work. My brand new well, it starts, either. but it doesn't run. Oh, and he's got a brand new one. It doesn't work either. So, but yeah, that's besides the point. We're going to get to fishing here. We're going to, well, we already drilled the holes, but we're going to get some lines in the water, set some jaw jackers and get those suckers popping. We got some live bait for these trout. So let's go catch some trout. You ready, buddy? I am so ready, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? This is a jaw jacker. That is our shack. This is my hot rod. And we're gonna go catch a trout. Oh, you want to catch trout? Very good, Nito. All right, guys. So this is a jaw jacker. For those of you guys that are clueless on what this is, it is an automatic hook setting device. So if you put your rod here, you bend it over, the rod flips up, and you have a fish on. And trout are good fish to use this with because um, over a tip up, this gives you the advantage of a quick hook set. And with trout, um, if they feel any pressure they tend to let go of your bait. So this kind of prevents, it prevents the fish from swallowing the bait and it also prevents the fish from um, coming off because it quick hooks them right away as soon as uh, there's any pressure. And you can change the, the tension settings with this little knob right here, um, depending on what fish you're going for. So I'm gonna have it set pretty light, but I'm gonna get this set up here and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna rock and roll. All right guys, so this is what we're using right here, a little minner. Little minner is gonna get dropped in the hole. And he's going to sink, buddy. Ready? One, two, three, go. We're having diving lessons with our pal here. He's not going. Go. There he goes. Drop the weights down. And my little loop-de-loop -loop here is going to go on my trigger. Like so. Trigger is going to get flipped over. Okay, if that thing gets touched, they're getting whacked. It would be really cool if we just drive out on the ice and be like, yeah. up. Be really cool. Oh, oh, there's fish on me. Let's fish go. on me. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Here he comes. Here he comes. He's gonna eat, dude. Got him. Oh, yep. <laughs> yes, let's go. First, First trout, go, dude. First trout of the morning, boys. First trout of the morning. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, it's a good one. Come on, baby. It's a good one. It's a good one. Dude, smoke the Z-Viber. What'd I tell you? The rattlebait's gonna call him in. Dude, yeah, you're like, and he's gonna come in and smoke it. Crushed it. Just absolutely crushed it, dude. It's a pretty one. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him. on. Yep, heads up. Look yes! at this fish. Oh, Look at that. Fish. Look at that. Beautiful, dude. That's a 23 inch. Dude, that's an awesome fish. Isn't look that, at that beautiful? All right, guys, Kyle's gonna hold my fish, but look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at them colors, man. This is wow. A, this is a stock trout. That is a really good fish to yeah. start the day. Stock trout, dude. <laughs> that's awesome. Dude, this is beautiful. <laughs> that's um, awesome. All right, guys, there she is. First trout of the morning. Guys, check that out. First fish of the morning. I'm going to both cameras here, but we're gonna get her oh, right back. That. Just gonna let her. Catch your breath. That was a, what a good one to start the morning dude, on, dude. That wow. was amazing. Yep, just gonna wait for that kick. These are all stock trout, and oh, she's getting ready to go. Yeah. One more, one more kick for me. The worst thing you can do, guys, ice fishing, is let a fish go prematurely because they ha they have no way to come up and get air. We'll just roll up it on the ice. They'll just go up to the ice and they'll die. So. And there, there she goes. She she kicked the off kick the of glory. There she goes. Dude, Hell yes! Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome, man. Woo! The fish came in so hot. <laughs> yeah, that's what's cool about Ooh. trout, dude. It's like, they're there. Dude, we did it. And then they're we gone. We did it. We did it. Yes! Ugh. Yeah! 
Yeah! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah! First fish of 2021, 2022, Dude, baby. Ice inland trout for you. Yes. Dude. Hell yeah. It was a Let's good go. one. It was a That was like slob. that was that was a 20. Dude, sure. easy. Easy 20. Easy 20. So should I put something on like that then? Put a rattle bait on. You want one? I told you the fucking rattle bit's gonna kill it here. Like you want? Ooh, this one looks money. You want this one? Sure. Pink and orange. Yeah, you bet. Ooh, the sea fiber's killing so what it. What do you hook it on? Out of like three that there is. So. Uh, I just keep it the way it comes the in, the, in the middle. Oh, dude, I'm five. so jacked. I'm so jacked. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Fish. Yeah. I See, that's that's. It up like you did, like you were just saying. Yep, here he comes. He's gonna slam you. Yep, here he comes. Yeah, he's right underneath the ice. See, he's still around though. He's yeah. He's trying to find an, a meal that's easy. He'll probably end up hitting one of these jackers. Here we go. He's at. I'm amazed that they're not biting these minnows. Yeah. Like that blows my mind. But I'd rather have him eat the bait jigging than... Yeah, I won't be able to see him even with the... If I try to sight fish him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's, the, the, the trout are so dark. And here they just blend right in. Yeah. Their backs are dark gray. Yep. Which doesn't really help. See, he's still around though. He'll come back. There he is, right there. Got him? Yep. Let's go! <laughs> like you said, he's still around, dude. Yep. <laughs> just slap the jaw jacker. Yep. Super dark. That's a really dark one. Yeah. Looks really cool though. Beautiful fish. On the jaw jacker. Just got smoked. Yep. I'm gonna get him right back. See you later, buddy. Oh, go back. See ya. There he goes. Cool. Nice so job, brother. Alright guys, quick little midday update. Um, I just want to kind of show you guys. It's been a little slow. Um, there's Kyle. Um, we've been fishing for what? Three hours now? Two and a half? Three yeah, hours? Somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, so we've kind of started fishing a little around sunrise, sunrise, sun, sunrise, sunrise. And, uh, so I kind of wanted to just show you guys why, oh, I thought you just busted through there. I was like, wow, we're a little sketch. Um, but yeah, so basically, um, Kyle was like, Hey, where do you think we should go? Me, Kyle and I both were like, we should probably set up shallow. Cause I'm thinking they're going to be cruising the shallows and I'm thinking that they're going to be around structure too. So we wanted to find structure this is our structure there's our structure so basically we were like okay let's find a down tree and basically we found exactly that a down tree and it looks like it froze into the water and you can see kyle drew a line thanks buddy yeah. kyle drew a line on where this tree is going down and right there we drilled a hole it's three feet here and this is probably like i don't know a foot and because we never drilled up there but anyway so this goes straight down as you guys can see that tree and we followed that tree out to our shack here. And this is three feet. There's a hole right in the corner of this shack, which is five. five feet. Yeah. And then there's a hole where I'm jigging in, seven feet. And then that my jaw jack is in a hole right over here, which is in, what was it, 11? 11 feet. Or 12 or something like that. It's so it's a really quick drop. Very steep, yeah. Another thing I want to explain too is where these fish were coming from. So I think what these fish are doing is I think, so this is all kind of brush pile here. And I think they're moving in this way. Because we've noticed on live scope, yeah, right where Kyle is, they're kind of, right there is where they're kind of coming in through. And we've noticed on live scope, all the fish are coming right here, through the left, through our left, which would be the shoreline here. So, which was kind of interesting, because I thought some fish would be coming in from the deep to feed in shallow, but I think they're just cruising this whole, whole shoreline here. So this is, that's why we set up here. So I just kind of wanted to explain that to you guys. But now we're gonna go um, try to find some deep ones. Yeah, now we're gonna go find, we're gonna try and go find some deep fish. I'm gonna grab the live scope. He's gonna grab the auger. We're gonna pop holes, just kind of scan around. I'm gonna bring a jig rod out there and just see what happens out there. So we're gonna go out there real quick and hopefully find some fish. We might make a move too, um, if we're finding a lot of fish out deep um, and they're chasing bait or whatever. We're gonna, we're just gonna find out. So we're gonna take you guys along with the, with the ride. So. Let's go find some fish. All right, guys, so we're just getting ready to grab the live scope here in the auger, but basically Kyle set up, what is that, the guillotine or something? Gu guillotine. Guillotine? Yep, guillotine. I'm thinking of the thing you chop your head off with. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, so that's, it's like an automatic jigging thing. It's like jigging it for him. So he set that up. And you guys can see it on the live scope here. Watch, this is, this is his bait right here. 
See how that's going up and down, just like how we were jigging it. That's a Z-Viber, by the way. We put a Z-Viber on there. And so we're going to head out there. Yep. And we're going to go try and find fish. And in here, this we is going to be uh, pretending. Three, three rods. We got yeah, so we got two jaw jackers. Jaw jacker? Kyle. Basically a jaw jacker. With basically guillotine. a jigging jaw jacker. Yeah. Guillotine. And a jaw jacker right there. With our heater that's finally working, guys. So we figured out the problem. It was my hose. Apparently, you have to buy a special hose, apparently, for this. So yeah. my hose sucks and his hose works. So now we're cooking in here. We're cooking with fire. All right. And so we're warm. So he's going to grab his auger right there. I'm going to grab the live scope right here. And we're going to dip on out. Want to go catch some trouts? Let's go catch trouts. One eternity later. Guys, we're living up in paradise up in here. Jaw jacker there. Jaw jacker there. Heater there. Kyle there. And Sammy's. And we got the jigging thingy mababa right over there. But guys, check this out. We're like having a little picnic. Cake and Nick while we're fishing, just chilling out. Yeah, we came back to the shack for a little while. Waiting for stuff to... But nah. that was like a whole probably... I don't know, we spent out there 30 minutes maybe. Yeah. Popping around and nothing's that happened in here. Yeah. Finally. That's so small. Yeah, it's a f***ing bluegill. Right? Holy shit. That's oh, that's bad. actually not bad. Here. Nice Guys, one, we caught a fish. I didn't, I can't, I got nothing on that, but I see it. Woohoo! Look my own eyes. Wow, that took a lot of convincing. Boom. Do it. Um, yep. This one feels a little smaller. Really? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. a little smaller. A little bit. There you go, man. Hey, finally doing it. Finally. Yeah. Finally doing it, bud. Yep. We, it's, uh, not it's not. You got your trout. You got your big trout. I got my big trout, so I'm good. No, I'm trying to just snap up. Some now I just want to catch some fish. But it's kind of cool, you know. We we used the live scope to find these bluegill. Yep. We wouldn't ever see, you, bud. Have known these were here. Yeah, we decided to take a. Long hike. <laughs> you got a fish. You rolling? Yep. Quick, quick, quick. Dang it. Yeah, he's still on there. Grab him, grab him. Super foggy. Yeah! Hey. Another trout. Finally. And even though we were we were across out, the lake. Outside for a minute. That hook is still right in top Look at of that. his mouth. Guys, this is what I don't understand. This product if that is was a... banned in Minnesota. This fish could have been hooked 20 minutes ago, and it's right in the corner of the mouth. Beauty. Can, uh... I mean, probably not 20 minutes ago. Maybe like 5 or 10. But... See you later, buddy. Beautiful fish. The pink on them. Oh, get down the hole. You got it. Come on, buddy. Wrong way. Swim. And... He doesn't know which way to go. He doesn't. I'll hold on to him for a minute. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Good to go. You know. Yeah, dude. Sick. Fun. Alrighty, boys. We are wrapping it up today. It was a grind. It was a grind. I sent her up here last night. I thought I'd give her a shot. Kyle said, hey, you want to go ice fishing? I said, hell yeah, I want to go ice fishing. So I drove up here. We're fishing like a little little inland trout lake. I caught my first inland trout, to, or inland trout today, so that was pretty cool. Um, even though we didn't catch a ton of fish, it was still still a blast. I think, what'd you have, three or four? Four? Four. Four? Yep. And I caught one, and I caught some bluegills over there, too. I, maybe I'll throw those in, but they were decent, like seven inches, not giant, but it was definitely a grind. We literally, we covered as much of this lake as we could on foot, and uh, it was a grind, but it was fun, nonetheless. So, a big shout out to Kyle. If you guys want to check him out, I will leave his link in the description down below. I'll throw up a little sub button here, too, if you guys want to go check him out. But anything you want to say, Kyle? Oh man, it was a blast. It was awesome meeting you and watching you get that freaking giant. That was, that was, it was fun. It yeah. was just, it was a grind, but it was fun. Yeah, guys, like, couldn't be any any better said. It was, it was a grind, but it was fun nonetheless. So I'm gonna, we're gonna pack her up. I got a six hour or five and a half, whatever. I don't know. I don't want to think about it, but I got a long, I got, a, I got enough, enough of a drive home. <laughs> yeah. So I appreciate the invite, but like I said, we're gonna pack up. Go check him out. He makes some banger banger ice videos he's got like all the underwater live scope all that kind of jazz so he knows the stuff so definitely go check him out but yeah that's gonna do it i hope you guys did enjoy make sure you guys leave a like on this video hit that subscribe button down below like i said go check out my man kyle and uh 
we're on the ice, baby. Got some awesome videos coming. We, hey, we got Ice Castle. Ice Castle, a couple weeks. Buddy, I'm bringing them to the yeah. Ice Castle. We're going to go to Mille Lacs. We're going to fish again, a whole bunch more. Oh, yeah. Mille Lacs is going to be a blast. So make sure you guys stick with us. Stay tuned for some more ice content. But uh, we got to pack up before it gets dark. So we'll see you in the next one.